visiting with, with Chevy this morning and, um, you know, um, while we have, you know, clearly a long-term plan uh, to, to be successful in this, in this league, we, we also had a short-term plan and that was to, uh, to make the playoffs and we didn't do that. So, um, you know, in that respect, uh, this season did not live up uh, to my expectations for now. Like this next year isn't about being back. We're here now. We're we get to be a, a you know a, a real regular member of the National Hockey League now, and I'm very excited, very proud of the group that we have that's going to take us forward. It really I don't want to give the impression that I'm managing our hockey team because I'm not. That's that's what uh, that's what our professionals do. Um, so I, I can't give you the details on that because uh, it, it would be it would be unthoughtful for me to do that. Other than say we're a young team and we we stayed young by design and to you know we agreed that we we needed to let our young players play and and that's how they're going to get better. Um, I don't think you're going to see a dramatic shift in in uh, in in the way we go about things next year. We're going to continue to be a, a young team and let young players develop. Uh, if there's an opportunity for us to get better, obviously we're going to we will do that. Um, it, it, the, the fact of the matter is, there's there's no easy, simple way to do that. It's if ever if it was, everybody be doing it. And uh, uh, so we're going to stay the course. If there's a chance for us to get better, uh, we will absolutely do that. But I think you're going to see this team build around its youth, and uh, and we have a lot of confidence in that youth. So the first step, Sarah, is we we've got to secure our our young guys. The you know the uh, those that are expiring on their. Uh, uh, either on their entry level or uh, or, or those that are, are still have restricted status, and um, that that'll be the priority. And and then depending on how, uh, on uh, on how that uh, settles out, uh, as I said, if there's an opportunity to make our team better through free agency, we certainly will consider that this summer. You know, our our revenues exceeded um, the point at which we would are allowed to participate in revenue sharing, and so we feel really good about that. Where we might have been a had to be a, been a beneficiary. Uh, we're not. The net of, of it all is we end up in about the same place because our revenues exceeded what we expected them to be. We don't participate in sharing. In the end, we're going to be at the exact same place that we expect it to be, which we feel good about. The, the league under, uh, was respectful of our willingness to play another year in the Southeast and indicated to us that they would you know, take into account to the greatest extent possible the geography that we're challenged with. So. I, I mean, I'm not. I, I can't say that we're sitting with the, the schedule maker, and uh, they don't permit that. But clearly, they. Uh, I think they're. Uh, they're going to be as helpful as they possibly can be uh, for next year. To me, it'd be the the support we got from our fans because I, you know, it, it it was indescribable, and I, I you know, every day I, it, I continue to. Uh, um, be reminded of how fortunate we are to have. Uh, the support we've had from our fans here in Winnipeg and wherever I've traveled, it's just been incredible. I never could have imagined it would be as, uh, as passionate and as genuine as it's been. Uh, I mean, just I, I was fortunate to be with our team in Tampa Bay last weekend and uh, the support of our fans there and the, the shout out of True North at, in, in visiting buildings, that, that, uh, that will, I'll remember that forever. Uh, um, and there are so many, Paul, in here, you know, the, it, it seemed to get progressively stronger from one game to the next, like it never, it never tapered off from opening night. So, um, you know, it, it would it would be those types of of, uh, of moments that really stand out, and, and people that just um, you know come up and and stop, you know, would stop me and, and express their gratitude for having the team back. Uh, far too many of those to actually even recall, but those things, those are really humbling moments, and those those really stick out. Uh, well, thank you wouldn't be enough. You know, I don't know, I I, I don't know what how to put it into words. I, I just, uh, I mean, I I don't even know how to express uh, the depth of uh, my gratitude and and. And I can tell you, David feels the same way. He's just been absolutely overwhelmed by uh, the support we've received and uh, wherever we go. It's just been incredible.